Here's a little tip. From our garden to yours. We have a topic today that's always been of interest to me, poisonous plants to touch. The reason is it's of interest is because some people can touch them, they don't have any problem. Other people touch them and they break out in a rash or I guess other toxic things. Well, Dennis Mudge joins us here in our livestock and natural resources and field crops and multi-county agent. What else should I add to it, Dennis? That's good, Tom. For orange, Seminole, and now you're doing a little bit of lake also, right? There you go. So. Uh, has this always interested you also? I mean, these yes, things? it has, because it's one of those things when you're out somewhere, as you come back, you've got a rash, and you say, where did I get that rash from? Yeah. You know, where did it come from? And we're going to tell you a little bit about that now. Okay, where do you want to start? I have my favorite here, but let's just do yours well, first. Well, let's go ahead and look at some of these, like this invasive tree that's come in. A lot of people have a Chinese tallow in their yard, a common mm -hmm. tree, but you wouldn't think it could give you a rash. No. Mm -mm. But, Tom, it can. This is a plant that not only is poisonous, but it can give you a rash if you touch it. Wow. Well, and now, are, is everyone sensitive to this like this? I mean, mm -hmm. if I go, I have never had any problem with it. I'm scared to touch it now. Well, that's right. <laughs> I want to go home with Some around. people are and some people aren't. You've yeah. heard of poison ivy. Yeah. Some people are, some mm -hmm. are not. And it depends. You can actually become more susceptible and less susceptible over time. But you wouldn't want to just count on it. And that's Chinese tallow there. You mentioned poison ivy, so let's just go ahead and cover that while yeah, we're at it. Yeah, let's do that. That's the bad boy. That's the one that's biggest on the list. And here's a look-alike. Boy, you're brave bringing well, poison ivy in your hand. this is woodbine, Dom. It looks just like it. It grows a vine right up a tree like this. You'd swear it's poison ivy. The difference is five leaves instead of three. Yeah, some people call this Virginia creeper also. That's right. And it's really been kind of, it's native, but I'm going to say it's at least a nuisance and maybe a bit invasive also That's into the landscape. Very common. But poison ivy is one you should learn, and you can. You can look closely at that leaf and see how it's lobed. And it starts out with one leaf, then it goes to two, but it never gets more than three, and that's how you know you've got the poison Leaflets ivy. Leaflets three, let it be. And this one here will have five to seven in general, I believe. Yes. Yeah. Now, uh, with this one here, it's, it's coming in and invades a lot of local landscapes, but I don't see poison ivy coming into most landscapes. I do see it coming in with uh, transplanted plants from the wild sometimes. I agree with you. That's that's a good thing about poison ivy. Mm -hmm. That's why a lot of people think they have it and they don't. They have this. Mm -hmm. But if you're out on a nature walk, we're out in the park obviously today, and you might find some there. That's right. And Here's a surprise for you, Tom. Here's a lily that's toxic to touch. Wow. And people don't think of lilies being that way, no. but mm -mm. lilies are poisonous, and often a poisonous plant would be the one that would be, and it's the sap that we're talking about. You can touch this, yeah. no problem, mm -hmm. but if the sap comes out and gets on you, you've got a rash. You know, Dennis, people would call me, and they'd say, I've been out pruning, I've been out working with the plants, and then they come in with that rash, and sometimes quite bad. Here's another one that I brought, and I found for these split-leaf philodendrons that you would uh, have the same thing. You say, well, I've been out pruning them, and I've got all different kind of problems. Let me hold up another one here and you have a relative of this there. This is the poinsettia. You know, people say this is a deadly plant. If you eat it, that's not true either. Agreed. But the sap. But here's one in the same family that is deadly. This recently killed a bunch of rabbits. Really? So Crotons oh. is deadly, and it's the same idea. The sap is more... It can hurt you by the touch. Yeah, but you got to eat it for that deadly effect to take place. So don't go out there eating a bunch of crotons, or I don't suggest you eat poinsettias either. But I know my wife will get mighty red uh, if she has a problem. What else you got over there? Well, lantana. A lot of people have that in their yard. This is the bad boy where they usually get their rash from when they come hmm. in the house and they say, where'd I get it from? In their own yard, their own lantana, weeding around it. Lantana will give you a rash if you're susceptible. Lighter skinned people tend to be more susceptible to it, especially huh redheads, Tom. Hmm. Huh. Does anything bother you out of this group here? No, Tom. Well, you lucky devil, you. <laughs> yeah, I've got some other ones here I brought. This is one where people will be out working. This is off of a uh, palm, saw palmetto, and you can see all the little thorns along there. Some people, if they get stuck by this, and it'll hurt for days, actually. I wonder why that happens. Yeah, it can be an irritant as well as a puncture wound, and then, of course, it can cause a quick infection. So you want to be careful. Another thing, Tom, that we really should mention is a thing about poison ivy or poison oak you may not know is you can get it from your pet. 
Ooh. Your pets get it on them. They don't catch it. They go run around. You say, I never was where the poison ivy was. Well, maybe Fido was. <laughs> you go up there and pet Fido, and all of a sudden you got it. Here's one more I have here, bananas. Uh, this one here, if you get the sap on you, some people are sensitive. Well, let me tell you that the banana and also the split leaf philodendron can stain your clothes. So it might not hurt you, but in some people it will. It could be a problem. So any final tip on things we need to think about? Just stay away from or what? Look up online. The <laughs> plants you've got around home and be aware of the ones you need to be more sensitive and gloves are a great idea Tom especially if you think you might have rash quite often. Good thanks Dennis appreciate it Dennis Mudge and if you're out in the landscape good advice from Dennis wear gloves and if you know the plants affecting you hey stay away from it. <laughs>